it's Saturday. You know what that means. You're back at the Joy Life Challenge. I'm Sky and Thread Gaming. And we're going to hang out with Gabrielle today and work on some more baking and aspiration points to try to get the reward we need. Which one was it again? Was it marketable? I'm pretty sure it's marketable. Um, so we need to get that. You were actually uh, about two thirds of the way there. So that's great. Gabrielle is just getting up in the morning. It's like 5 a.m. We need to travel today. It's family day. Let's see what we have made. What do we have already in our inventory? We definitely need to make a few things, but make special recipe. Is this because we're energized? We can make like workout food. <laughs> That's cute. Um, open. So we still have some mousse. This has six days. That's great. Powdered donuts, banana split waffles. Oh yeah, we got to do some waffles, right? Five. Excellent. That's right. It's not counting it because we're not using the table it likes for this, but I think we've sold one. So I'm going to try to keep track. And then when we get five, I'm going to cheat this because I'm not using the other table. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So she's going to get a bagel. Go ahead and eat. Um, let me go back. I get, I'm, the ADD is strong. I get easily distracted. So we still have a carrot cake. Okay, so let's make some more waffles and I'm gonna bake something and then we're gonna try to travel today. And um, yeah, I really wanna go hang out a little bit in uh, Henford on Bagley because I think there's a, a place there we kind of wanna visit because part of today's um, Thanks is remembrance. So we're going to go visit uh, Granny's grave today. Uh, and in my lore, it's like she grew up in Henford and Bagley. And that's kind of like where her family plots are. So Granny got buried out there. So we're going to go visit. And then we're going to try to make some friends out there uh, at the local pub and stuff after we do some sales. So let's go ahead. Uh, did we eat? I don't know. Go ahead and get another serving of something. Uh, and then we will cook. See, it's family day. Let's just do some berry waffles. I think I have some more waffles in there. We'll do the berry waffles and then we will bake like something with the actual baking skill. And then we'll probably go through granny's book or we'll make some cupcakes maybe because that seems cute for kids. Um, cause I think I did some baking the day before, so I, we don't have to go crazy this morning. We're just going to like bake one or two more things and then we'll go out and we'll have plenty of inventory. But I think cupcakes will be cute for kids. So actually let's, let's do this. We'll do the cupcakes, get our baking skills still going up and then yeah, we'll go. We'll head, we'll travel, take the bus to go visit granny's grave today. I think we have to use the phone to make sure we get that going, but that's okay. We'll collect our waffles, then we'll cook cupcakes. Let's do super chocolate Tummers bomb cupcakes. Let's do those. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now. Put these in the fridge, yeah. And then after we're done with those, I will bake. What can we bake? We did the carrot cake. We want to do some lemon bars. We'll do some lemon bars. And actually those look like they might sell for a decent price. So we'll finish this and then we'll hit the road. Kind of excited to see what will happen today. As soon as this is done, we'll put everything in our inventory. Yeah, I want to start building our permanent residence. I just, this is such a cute build, but actually playing in it is not the easiest, but I might've done that to myself. Okay, so this is gonna go in your inventory. I'm also, let me pause here. Um, open this. 
So we got our baked chocolate mousse. Well, I guess I can just put it down. Our cupcakes. Our fruit tarts. Oatmeal cookies. Carrot cake. Berry waffles. Banana split waffles that we made last time. And the powder donuts that didn't sell. But that's fine. So we're ready to go. Let's hop on the phone. I know we need to use our bus pass, but I think for the holiday to count it, we got to do it through the phone. So that's fine. We're just going to travel this time. And maybe we can invite Angela after we're done selling in the morning and we can celebrate the holiday with her out there. We'll see because Angela has been really nice to us, but I also want us to meet some more Sims because we really need to go on more blind dates, but we'll do that maybe tomorrow. So let's just travel. Okay, let's go ahead and... It's not uh, the warmest and most uh, friendly place to visit, but we want to go actually out here and go visit over here. And we're just going to go and visit her family uh, plot. We have this rose in our inventory. And we just would like to set it on her grave here. We're just going to view. I guess we can't. Ooh, a lot of people are coming over. I guess we're not the only ones that wanted to um, visit some family members. We're just gonna go wash our hands in the in the fountain here. Let's toss a coin in the fountain and make a wish that uh, Grandma's influence is leading us, you know, down the right path. And okay, so that's our remembrance done. I wonder how it says we should do it. Click on the urn or gravestone and choose any of the available. So now let's just read the epitaph. I can't quite reach grandma, so this one's gonna have to do, but we're just gonna kinda spend some time looking at, uh, yeah, that, can we view this one? Okay, we can view this one. Ooh, I don't like that we're walking on the grave, but as long as we can view it, there we go. Let's just view this one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, maybe these are all like grandma's family members. Maybe these are her parents as well. So we're kind of learning about our family as we uh, view the urns and, you know, make sure that everything is clean and looks nice. Okay. So I don't know if that counted. Let's see. I don't think I can view that urn either. Can I view like this one? Nope, we can't. And these are all. There we go. I don't know how that was um, music and art, but I guess we're appreciating the art on some of these uh, headstones. Hmm. Actually, we're happy. Like this is giving us a sense of, I guess, closeness with our our family. Maybe that we didn't get to to learn about that much. So let's, um, let's also go ahead and, okay, we're going to chat with a local. Well, actually, I think he's from Oasis Springs, too. Be like, I really love the color of your shirt, by the way. Okay, so we're here, but I don't want to sell right here. I mean, this is kind of a nice spot right here, isn't it? Let's go here, maybe right across from the church. It's kind of more over here, though. I wonder if maybe we should be in the main, like, thoroughfare. There's nothing going on over here. You know what? Let's go here, because I don't think 
that we have, yeah, we don't have an event going on here today. So we'll go over here. This is the new pub I put up. So the church, the church is new and so is this pub. I kind of just gave us some new stuff because I think it's like half pub, half cafe. So we're coming. Oh, Dina's like, I heard you became friends with Angela. I think you saw it because you were peeking in our window yesterday. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and place this in the world and we will start our sale. Oh, and there's a ghost too. We could have interacted with. Okay, so let's stock our table. It's a really nice day. Let's see, how hot is it? It's just warm, so let's, um, let's change into our selling clothes. And let's go ahead and stock the table. Ooh, it's so pretty out here. I love this. And then we're going to tend the table and start our street sale. You won't believe it. Eva Capricosia or Capri Capricosa? Capricosa? I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, it's such a sweetheart. I'm in love. So apparently we told her to go on a date to see other people and she met someone she likes. So we're happy for Dana. Uh, we're not... We're not ready to be involved in her family situation. The Calantes have a lot going on and we went over to visit her new adopted child and it was a whole thing. We're just like, you know what? We we really like this small, quiet life. <laughs> so maybe this isn't gonna work, but we're happy to see she's happy. We, we really do like Dina. It's just maybe not the rest of her family. All right, so let's sell. Man, this it is beautiful out here, really and truly. Uh, cottage living is a, such a nice pack. I mean, all of our things look delicious. I think they're all excellent quality. Everything's got a couple days left. Well, the lemon bars are normal, so I guess some of the baking, like carrot cake, is normal. The other ones are excellent. Oatmeal cookies. So actually, what I think we're making with our regular oven is coming out normal. And it's because, uh, number one, we don't have Granny's Magic sprinkled on it. These are these are basic recipes, not Granny's like amazing recipes. But number two, I think our oven is just not good. So we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to go ahead and upgrade as soon as possible. I need to challenge myself. A new job might be a solution. What do you think? I mean, I tend to always just be like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> do what makes you happy. Yes, please. Oh, this is the pub owner, Sarah. Now she got a, she got a little makeover, maybe. Oh, we sold something. That's nice to chat with Renee, but we got to keep working our table. We really are working right now. Uh, yeah, these are some of the uh, Henford and Bagley townies that I've just you know put into my my style a little bit i will say making my sim style and the enzoi character created that i just uh, probably uploaded the video for the other day um it was eye-opening how my sim style does not translate to enzoi <laughs> i i guess i do not go realistic and i never realized how like non-realistic my characters are which i love for the sims aesthetic but they definitely don't work, or at least maybe it was just very jarring to see them in that different style in Enzoi. But Enzoi was really, really fun, so uh, I can't wait till that game comes out. Let's keep going. 
It's almost lunchtime. I think we can do one more sale and then we'll go hang out at the pub. Oh, okay. So that's another sale. That's two sales. And let's see if we can... Oh, there's nothing else to stock. That was everything. So we still have the waffles. I really wish the waffles would sell. Hello, Christy. Uh, once again, I'm asking for your support for the Juice Community Neighborhood Action Plan. Uh, it's it's going up to a vote, but currently tech support is predicted to win. We need every sim to get out and vote. Can we trust that you'll have support? No way. I'm voting for tech support. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, so we're going to do hopefully two sales. I would love to sell a couple more waffles to go toward our aspiration. Uh, and I think we have a good chance that we might sell at least one of them. Donuts are gone. Nice, nice. Yeah, Christy is not happy, but I can see Christy definitely not going to be in a technophobe. <laughs> I mean, we're not the most techie people, but I definitely don't want to be hanging out with all the juiced community. <laughs> oh, the purse sale's almost done. Okay, so that, so let's start another street sale. Start it again, and hopefully someone will buy these waffles. So hopefully we can get a sale. It's still like pretty tough. Oh, we're doing our proper greetings. We're, we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> to Renee. We do like chatting with Renee, but hopefully she'll hang out and we'll go to the bar or something. We can talk to Renee in a little bit. Um, we need to sell. Like, there we go. What did you take? Oh, we sold one of the yellow waffles, so now we've sold two. So, waffle count is at two now. If we can sell the other waffles before the sale ends, that would be nice. I really hoped we were gonna do better today. Plus we're gonna spend a little bit of money over next door at the pub, but that's okay. It's okay. I haven't had a true challenge where I was really scraping to get by in a while, so. Oh, that's done. All right, so we're just going to uh, clear the table and put this in our inventory. I'm amazed that we didn't sell at least one more thing, but... Okay. Well, let's go celebrate a little bit. Um, visit the cafe. Okay, but first of all, we're gonna change out of our work clothes. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to change outfit. I think I put this new outfit. Let me see. Yeah. He gave us a new outfit just to mix things up a little bit. So we can wear this one. And this is the cafe. So we could get something to eat in here. But I think I want to go next door to the bar and get a drink. Well, actually, we have to use the restroom first. So where are they? Do we even have a restroom here? It might be upstairs. Yes, we do. Okay, we're going to use the, the ladies room. And we can play games. Up here. So we'll do that. We'll see who's around we are friends with lavina so maybe lavina the city mayor will play with us yeah there we go we're going to play a game i think we've got enough time for one game before our hunger meter goes too far down let's play a game <laughs> Cute. Cuties. Go fast. 
sipping that. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh. See if we make this llama fall. Uh, yes. <laughs> we won! Hey, cute. And let's see. I don't know if they do like two out of three, or if I just have to stop them, they'll just play indefinitely. Uh oh, I see blue. Oh, the llama cries tonight. The llama almost fell. Man, it's making us sad and stressed. Maybe we don't like this game. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's, uh... Let's go get something to eat and to drink. Oh, we don't have anybody tending the bar. Well, I guess we are. We're gonna go get something to drink from the cafe. So, it looks like... I have this under cafe, so the cafe is being tended. The cafe is being tended, but the bar is not. So we can switch if we want it to be a bar, which I do. So after we get something to eat, um, we get our scone. We can say hello to the locals. Friendly introduction to Simon, and I think he's married to. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah and Simon are married, so they're just hanging out. They're having a good old time. I know I ordered us some food, so I don't know where it is, but you might just be running behind. Where's our Where's our scone, man? Let's try it again. Maybe she never got to talk to him. Here we go. There we go. That's my scone. Alright, let's eat our scone. Okay. Go ahead and eat, because you're hungry. And chat with our friends. Very nice. So Simon seems to be charming. We are, are we, we not the married men? Whew. Okay, so they just have friendly sentiments. Nothing crazy, okay. They just get along well. They have the same sense of humor. Okay, so. We'll have this, and then I may change the lot trait on this lot to the bar so we can have a drink. Okay, so we're doing good. We are tired. So let me go into build mode. And change this from cafe to bar. There we go. Now someone should tend the bar in a minute. He'll probably run over. Let's see. Can probably relax and uh, watch some TV for a minute while someone comes to tend this bar. Because, yeah, he shouldn't be working over there now. They should be over here. And it's 10 p.m., so it's almost too late, but maybe we can invite Angela for just, just a few minutes. Let's see, where is she? Invite to current lot. Do we, can we get a drink? I don't know. Is anybody working the bar? I don't see anybody tending the bar. <laughs> but if not, oh well, we'll live. There she is. Hey, wanna sit together? Sit together and chat. Here we go. We're gonna sit together. Here we go. We can have a drink, but we can socialize for a little bit. Well, we made friends with Diamond as well. Oh, she thinks we're clingy. Oh, we have a crush on her. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Simon, I'm trying to click on on Angela. <laughs> Let's just uh, compliment her. I did give her a little bit of a makeover. The lighting in here is like super, super harsh. That's not even with my shade on. Can I just set color and intensity? All lights to be a little, just a little dimmer. There we go. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Cause that was that was pretty harsh. It's still pretty harsh on her. I don't know why. She's positively glowing. <laughs> I did turn the lighting down. I guess I could turn it even more. Now it's like really dark. Okay. Yeah, she's tired. She's going home. Okay. Well, we tried to bring her out. It is late. We're eating our own carrot cake. Okay. We'll just leave that. No one came to work the bar, but now that it is a bar, next time we come, it should. We can just swap it, but I just got to remember before we get here. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't, it won't work that way. Good to know, I guess. All right. So, but this is a bar and let me just hop into my gallery. I did change a little bit on the outside of this bar, but I believe this Finchwick pub and cafe is by Simple Cheeks. <laughs> uh, it's really, really cute. And then the church is uh, by Denoik. So yeah, it's... Uh, it's really cute out here. We did what we came to do. We celebrated our holiday and now it's time to take the bus back home. Let's go home. Let's hit a hot pause. Let's go into build mode and I'm going to change it today. And we are going to change a few things. All right then. Now, how much can we get in an actual trailer so I would like to oops I always do that I always grab that when I want that so I think this is a good spot to be like the front here something like this maybe that's pretty big that's pretty big we might not even need all of that let me maybe go back one and up a couple yeah maybe something like that for now and then for a roof i kind of want to do kind of what the ones next to us did i don't know if i want it at an angle i think i want it kind of like johnny's where it's like a bell shape i don't know what it's called <laughs> we're gonna just bring this all the way Oop, not that not that one this one Bring it over. Is this not daytime? There we go. And what is that? What is that shadow? Is there still like an underground room or something I don't know about? What is that shadow? That is like this weirdest shadow that shouldn't be there. What is that? I might just... Can I put this in our inventory? I might just bulldoze this whole thing because I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's try this again. I know I want this to be something like that maybe right now okay now when I try to do the roof hopefully it won't have that weird shadow I mean, it could just be this lot but 
It's like all of a sudden my game is running very fast. <laughs> like my lag disappeared. So I don't know if this lot had something going on. All right. And then this goes up. Yeah, I don't think we have too much overhang. Okay. Something like that. We do want it raised up because we're going to put it on like, um, the foundation is going to be like this one. Where it's like raised up on, on these. I don't know if we want a color yet. Maybe just wood. All right. And I kind of wanted a little bit of a, like an actual porch on the front. So let's see, can I do that? Yeah. Just a little bit. And I wanted it to have, we, hmm. I might've done this wrong. I might need to do it as a r room because I kind of wanted to have our covered porch, but then I might be going crazy. Uh, I might be going too much. Okay. Let's just do a porch, like a regular porch and I'll give her like an awning. Let's just do a room, an extra room. There we go. And then we will delete the roof, remove the ceiling. Yeah. And then she'll need some, let's go with what's kind of cheap. Maybe we will go with this werewolves old factory fence because it doesn't need to be crazy. And then actually I'm going to just delete, Oop, not that one. Oop. Just going to delete that so we can have the stairs. I also really liked the metal stairs. Yeah, these. So we'll put these back on. I think those look good. And I think our porch is going to have the stilts underneath it, like something like that. So it's not the same, although I don't know if I like that one. Not that one either, honestly. Snow escape. Yeah, just something simple. There we go. Okay, so I want that. I would like like an awning. Do I want the really big one? Because there's a, oh, there's this one that's actually might be the best here. Okay, so we want the door to be there. I know I need. Just a super simple, plain door. Maybe this dog's and cat's door will work. Maybe that's more along the lines of what I want. Um, I want to make sure I get the metal. Uh, where is that? Maybe we'll do that same corrugated metal on the top. And then I want to go and get the siding. I don't know if I want us to have, I don't, I've gone green in the past, so maybe yellow, maybe we should go yellow. That'll be fine. I think. Yeah. Okay. We need to trim. Might just continue doing, oh, that's way too big. Never mind. What about this one? There we go. That just kind of fills in the holes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, um, I'm not gonna worry about windows until I know what my layout inside is. So let me go ahead and do a layout and then we'll come right back. Okay, I did move my entryway over cause I think it's best if we come in to the left is going to be the master ba uh, bedroom. Then we're gonna have the kitchen. Then we're gonna have kind of maybe the dining, small dining area right here. And then the living like area, like living room space. And actually I might move this, like expand this just one. And we'll see how much of this we can fill out. So we still have, 
And then we can now uh, park our vehicle like, kind of up here, I think. Well, maybe we'll even move it up. And then we can probably just have our space for selling like right here, right in the front. We have our little outdoor dining space, <laughs> our sitting space. So we're just gonna like move a couple of the chairs like up here. Or do I want to still keep this like out here? Maybe I still will and I'll keep this still up here kind of just to work on. Um, and then our planters, where did my planters go? I lost my planter boxes, I'll get those again. We still got laundry we gotta do. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of those for us for right now. Okay, I am missing some stuff, but that's all right. Like our TV disappeared too. I swear I had those in our inventory, but you know what? It's all right, it's all right. First off, let's get some lights. Like I said, for now, we're gonna have to get like the cheapest um, we can afford. Ooh, that's cute. You can actually put a street light, thanks to debug. <laughs> we could have a street light on our corner right there but I gotta put the bus stop there too yeah the cheapest is still the recess so we're just gonna have to live with those for now until we we get we get up there we'll keep working room by room um but yeah so and our bed is gone I swear I saved like all of that so we'll get a new bed I do think I'm gonna try to get a double bed though. I think I'm gonna splurge on that as well. Just the cheapest one. Actually, this bed is even $10 cheaper. It's used, <laughs> but um, I think I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna get this used platform bed because we need it. Um, I would like to get a dresser and a mirror at least in here. Again, this one from, well, I mean, we could just use the suitcase. And you know what, for now, let me see, let me see what else we got going on here. And um, like I said, things might be a little sparse for, for the moment, because I think this money's gonna go pretty quick. Uh, let's get the toilet in the bathroom here. Could give us just a little shower. Let's see, it's 375, 75 more. Because if I do this one, well, I guess I don't need the wall. I guess I can just. I'm just going to put it kind of like on the wall here. Like I said, right now we're doing this as cheap as we can. Uh living space i want to have a little living room kind of fix this up a little bit more um after i might be able to let's put the door here for the bathroom kind of built it so it would go in the middle this one i just want the plainest door to ever door and it's like 90 when the cottage living door even this one okay The simple ranch door is even cheaper. What's the difference? Like barely, barely anything. It's like half the price. All right, so let me just see. Do I got a better, like different wood swatch? I mean, maybe not for this one. Maybe this one needs to stay. I could try to do dark wood. I tend, I tend to just lean on it. Okay, so we got that. Let's do a little should I scrunch, like twist this room the other way? Like if it's like this, maybe that makes our uh, makes our kitchen even bigger. <laughs> That's fine. And then maybe this is just like open hallway more than anything. And then our dining area just will kind of be up here. So this whole corner can really be our cooking area. And then we'll need this door 
for our bedroom, which is gonna kind of be like that. Okay. So let's see, we got five grand to try to do this kitchen with. And actually I need to do the wallpapers and stuff first. Maybe just a light blue. Maybe that just will be it. Unless I do brown. I, that's just too depressing. I can't. Okay, I'd rather have the light blue. Um, most of this house, I think, is going to be in a darker wood for the flooring. This bowl of cherry wood's kind of nice. Maybe, like, this version of it. I kind of like that. The kitchen, I'm going to square off with some tile. So, let's see. Alright, let's see. If I go for this, can I find just maybe a floor tile that matches? <clears throat> I can live with that. Let's give them a mirror. And I still don't have any windows. I have to do windows too. Oh my goodness. This is like begging for something like this. It's just, I can't help it. It needs it. It needs it. It needs it. I am going to splurge on the bathroom. Okay. Oh my God. Windows. Windows don't kill me, please. I got to get the cheapest windows there are. Horse Ranch, I think, is coming in clutch again. I think it's going to be Horse Ranch. And we're going to do... Do I want them that high? How high do we want them? So the rest of our money, I guess, is going to... Oh, tile for the kitchen. These are really cute. Kind of like these. I might even make it one more. Or if I just do this whole area. I'm gaining money back by doing that, so maybe we will. I could reorganize the bathroom so the door is on this side. So I redid the bathroom so that its layout is slightly different. Uh, and we got $100 back because I didn't have room for that towel stand anymore. But it changes the door so the kitchen and the little dinette is going to be less awkward. So I guess this just works as a long hallway to get through and around the house. Not the prettiest thing, but I can probably put like a bookshelf or something over here that's going to take up the space. So let's do the kitchen. All right, so super simple. This is our bedroom. We literally got, this is our dresser and a mirror and at least a nicer new double bed. We definitely spent most of our money, <laughs> as small as it seems, on better appliances for the kitchen. Oh, and I forgot a sink, so hold on. <laughs> Good thing we're doing this. I need a sink. All right, 125. It's about the same. All right, so we're going to just throw the cheap... Well, how much are you? $5 more, I can have one that actually looks like a kitchen sink, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so the kitchen took the really the bulk of our money. I didn't even do cabinets yet. I'm going to wait until we make more money to do that, but at least we have a nicer fridge, which should make our food last a little longer, and we should cook better or bake better quality stuff. Um... And I tried to get it her color, her place, her favorite thing to do right now is the kitchen. The kitchen should reflect her. And I tried to get that kind of cool peachy salmony color in here for her. Everything's super simple. Everything's like super cheap. Uh, we don't even have any art or anything on the walls. <laughs> uh, even some of the stuff basically we had outside, we're going to have to rework on or work up to getting it back because we had to sell it. We have a simple little couch and a little television. I had a computer. Oh, here we go. We do have a computer. So I think I'm going to try to get us a desk. It's simple. It's not uh, too terribly cluttered as much as I would like. But we're going to work up to that as we keep making money, hopefully. And at least we have some room if we have to change or turn the living room into a baby nursery. We absolutely can do that now. So, but the goal is to build a whole nother bedroom on the back here, <clears throat> which could even turn into like an extension or something. But 
it looks better now. This is definitely more in line with what um, we're looking for. I don't know if I like the yellow. Now, let's see what other colors are here. Okay, it's the horse ranch. We could do red and I might. I might do, no, it's like a barn, isn't it? Uh, I hate to do like gray, blue. That's so boring. Dark, the black. It's like the blue black. This is a little bit more blue. Hmm. Could be a red. I need help. I, I, I always want green. Like that's my problem. Gray just feels way too drab. I, the shingles help it not feel like a barn maybe. But it still feels like too much. But the maybe dark brown, maybe dark, maybe dark brown. I'll fix that in a second once we decide on a color. Okay, let me see. The horse ranch doesn't come in brown. I don't hate the dark brown. This kind of has a dark, this looks like wooden cabin. Do I, do we hate wood cabin? Do we hate it? I don't know. This one has a dark brown. This, we, this might be, this might be it. This might be it. And then I think the roof, I can even do the corrugated in a different color slightly. You could do it like in this blue. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. Okay. You know what? I don't hate this. So let's... Let's see if I can get this to match a little bit better. Yeah, we can. Okay. And then that makes this even match a little bit better. Okay. So we're doing dark wood. I, I'm fine with that. Okay. Do our windows need to change colors? Yeah, we can blend them in even better. Yeah, let's do that. And then, let's see. We, we could make the trim kind of like a reddish to make it stand out, maybe. I guess it's gonna be the dark or I can make it like the black maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll do black. And then this makes me wanna change the color of the door on the outside now. <laughs> Everything is changing colors. Now it's like a black door, hmm. It's looking pretty masculine now. Maybe just like the, no. Maybe just like the darker gray. We could do that. Now these can stay this color. Okay, I think I'm fine with that. The door can stay kind of on the whiter side. All right. I think we're happy with this. You guys can let me know what you think. Uh -huh. 
Ooh, it's really dark out here now. <laughs> At night, it's super dark. Okay. I'm going to take this out of our inventory. Whoop, whoop. We're just going to put it on the ground out here for another sale, another day. Yeah, guys. Uh, I hope you guys like the new house. Again, I know we're... We're on the cheap side right now. <laughs> this is a rags to riches, truly. Um, so I hope you like the new house. I think it'll be at least a little easier to play in and we won't have so many issues with levels and stuff. I'm not sure how that other build was, um, but it made it a little tougher. But yeah, so this is our new digs and this is like between selling the other, we got the $2,000 uh, from the inheritance and with what couple probably thousand we've made on our own, we've been able to expand the area and it's at least it's, even if some things are secondhand, they're nicer and our kitchen is definitely nicer. So the food should be nicer and hopefully that means we make more money, you know? Hopefully it's a self-fulfilling cycle, but you know, I don't hate it. It just needs, it needs to be lived in. It needs to be loved, you know? So that's going to be where I'm going to leave us this, this week. As you know, every Saturday I'll be back with more with Gabrielle. And if you want to see me make Gabrielle as a Zoe in Enzoi, uh, check out that video. I should have released it probably a couple of days ago now. Um, I'm not sure if by the time this goes up, Enzoi will be available for free on Steam anymore. But if you see this uh, before the 26th, if this goes up before the 26th, I can't remember what the date is today exactly. Um, you know, check it out. If not, uh, when that game releases, it's going to be a lot of fun. But for now, we're still playing Sims. I'm not going anywhere. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.